how might we get mold toxicity? It's important to note that we can actually come into the world with mold toxicity. It does cross, mold toxins do cross the placenta. However, for most people, they are likely acquiring them within water damaged environments. And where there's water damage or retained moisture in a structure or building, there will be mold growth. And it's these particular molds that are especially toxic. Outdoor molds, where there's checks and balances, those molds are not necessarily spewing off the toxins in the way that molds present in a contained moist space do. Most of those sources are through inhalation. This could be in our homes, it could be in our workspace, it absolutely could be in school settings, in dormitories, in daycare, it can also be in cars that have some degree of water damage or if a window was left open. And it could even be a mattress in which there was bedwetting. Retained moisture in a contained space will grow mold. Not everyone, however, seems to be susceptible. Most people can mount an immune response to mold toxins. That doesn't mean that if they get a large enough exposure, they won't develop toxicity. However, at more typical levels, they usually can manage that and don't become toxic. It appears that 25% of people can't mount an immune response. There does appear to be some genetic vulnerabilities here. And so within a household or a single environment, not everyone will become sick. But in a large office building, in a large school setting, a number of people will be affected, and I would say uh, usually unknowingly affected.